Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you all are doing amazing, fantastic. I hope the start of November has been amazing for all of you. For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome from me. And cross watches, I know I say this every week, but you are definitely welcomed here as well because this is a general love reading. The roles can always be reversed. So Gemini, apply it to your situation. So let's get straight into your weekly love reading. Let's see what is happening, Gemini, in your heart space. So I was doing a kind of like a quick, um, quick meditation setting up, you could say. And first word I got was transformation, that there is transformation happening in your personal life, love life, whether you're single, um, or whether you are with someone, or if it's complicated, you're not talking. Um, like I got the word transformation. So I'm very interested to see how it's going to show up in the cards. But there is something changing. There is something changing. There is something transforming here. Uh, or if, you know, if I see the death card, that's just going to confirm it even more for me. Because we do know that the death card ruled by Scorpio is all about transformation. So there is something, it's hard for me to put it in words. I, I'm usually, I feel a lot more of it, but it's more of, um, I don't know, like the wheels are in motion. Something's happening. Something's going to be changing in the month of November, may roll over into the month of December, but it's something that you're going to see. It's like right in your face. Not in a bad way, but let's just see. Now, Gemini, if this reading does resonate with you, there will be an extended and I always say 100% optional. It's only if you're nosy like me. Um, the link to the extended is in the description box below. And for those that are new to my channel, the purpose of the extended is that I focus 100% only on your person, their true thoughts, their feelings about you and the connection. What intentions do they have towards you, their actions, outcome, and of course, advice for both of you moving forward as well. So I don't like to... Um, sugarcoat readings even this one i get straight to the point and yeah it's all about gaining clarity or even just confirming gemini what you already know all right so if you stick around to the end of this reading gemini you will see a glimpse of the extended it's pretty intense i use kind of in between six to seven different decks it's just i like to dive a lot more deeper though but this reading here i like to make it full as well for you as well so let's get straight into it let's talk about this whole transformation that i was picking up one more <clears throat> for gemini please what's happening in your heart space right now gemini who are you thinking about the most or is there new love coming your way or who's thinking about you the most whatever comes up let's see oops let's see what's going on for Gemini, please, my lovely Jimmy Jams, what's going on? All right. Okay, we've got, we start from, I, I actually like this card. This is the Eight of Pentacles ruled by Virgo. So putting everything aside as impersonal, I, I see that you are working very, very hard here. Very busy here. Either you're studying, um, you could actually be going to school or doing some personal research here as well. Very busy at work. Maybe you're in a partnership with someone as well. It's kind of like, you know, heads down and, you know, or like, as they say, you know, head in the book. <laughs> but more what I'm seeing here, though, as in personal Gemini, is that you are prepared or someone is prepared to work. Maybe both of you are prepared to really make this relationship work. Putting 100%, not like in the past, Gemini, as in where maybe you put in 100% and your person didn't even want to meet you halfway. And that is so frustrating. But I'm seeing here like 100%, let's make this work. Let's make this connection successful. Ooh, we got the Empress. How beautiful is this? Now, for some of you, you may have children. For my feminines, maybe you want to get pregnant. Maybe you're already pregnant. This is a beautiful sign. I always say that this is also the return of health as well. The Empress, ruled by Taurus, is all the queens wrapped up into one. So it's, and I also have to say this on the side. I know this isn't a career and love reading, but whatever you are doing, Gemini, for your career, your finances, your studying, be prepared for massive success. So whatever you are doing, you are on the right path. But here we've got the potential of this beautiful connection, this romantic connection to literally give birth here your person's holding you in high regard that's what i'm picking up that really there's a lot of respect for you but i'm wondering what happened because something's about to 
I'm hearing the word transformation here. Yeah, something's happened here. More Scorpio energy. And the Five of Wands, Leo energy. So, Gemini, you know what it feels like when the tower, you know, comes crashing down. You've been there before. You've been at the bottom of the wheel. You know what it's like to be completely blindsided by a person's actions. Some of these may have been just blocked. Maybe your person just packed up and left when you were gone. Things I'm kind of feeling did not end on good terms with your person, with that five of wands. It is about change, but fives are also about conflict as well. Maybe there was too many people around this connection. Maybe there was competition uh, for your person's attention. This is not over though. The reason why I say that is because we have judgment here. Judgment ruled by Libra and um, possibly Scorpio as well. I feel like your person has had a bit of that light bulb moment, like I screwed up majorly and I don't know if I can fix this and I don't know if Gemini actually wants me back ever again though, but you must know absolutely that your person would love a second chance with you. I said if I saw the death card, there it is, transformation. Maybe your person had options and they entertained those options. Maybe Gemini, you've got now options. It's not just your past person. Maybe you've met someone new. Either way, this is the card of fate. Death actually always says that it's never obviously a physical death. It's about something transforming. Um, and for you, Gemini, to move forward now, or for your person, if they want to be back in your good graces and be prepared to, you know, be back in your good graces again in your good books, something has to die. Something has to be sacrificed. Old ways of doing things, maybe they actually do have to, if they were a player, for example, they need to stop that. Yes, um, they need to leave certain people, situations, events behind. So let me put, oh, let me put all the cards down first. Okay, this has not been easy for you, Gemini. So we start off with the Three of Swords, Libra Energy. You've been to hell and back, I must say that. We've got your energy there. We've got the Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, Leo Energy. The Ace of Swords, finally we're getting some clarity. We've got some answers now. What's at the beating heart of your reading, Gemini? We've got the Strength card, more Leo Energy. This is also the return of your health. I love this. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Let me put the, this back a little bit. I hate, there we are, cutting out the cards. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, of Coins, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What else? The Star, ooh, Aquarius energy. We end with the Moon, Pisces, Cancerian energy. Okay, this has, you know what, I, I'm going to say it, I feel like the worst is behind you, but boy, my goal, it has not been easy. So, your heart has been broken. That tower moment, you know what it feels like, Gemini, and it sucks and it hurts, but your heart has been broken. There definitely could have been a third party. This will be different for all of you. Now, Gemini, maybe the third party was work. Maybe it was being in a long distance relationship, such as that Eight of Wands. Maybe it was actually infidelity. Maybe you found out you were the third party, or maybe you always knew you were the third party. Maybe your person had a third party. It's about heartbreak, but you are healing. You are putting yourself first. Now you know the value of self-care. Something's happening here. If I can pick, see, I can't, I can't, with my stubby fingers and my short, <laughs> my short nails, I can't pick the cards up because it's always constant hand sanitizer with me. So, We've got fast, fast changes coming your way. Your person wants success with you. And I know it's like you're, you know what, if you want to roll your eyes, I get it. It's like the nerve of them thinking they can come back after what they did to you. But now is not the time, Gemini, for you to do anything rash or anything impulsive. If you feel triggered in any way, just take a step back and just kind of calm yourself. But um, in saying that, your person is going to be reaching out to you and be prepared because they're going to be doing it quite impulsively. They're not actually really going to think about it. It's actually just like, it's going to hit them probably in the afternoon saying, okay, I need to talk to Gemini about this. And they want success with you, but this is not overnight success. This is actually, they're going to have to work hard for it. Hence why we got that eight of pentacles. Ooh, they really, really did a number on you, mentally, emotionally especially. They do want this, they actually want this to be victorious. How are they going to do that? That's a, that's a very good question here because there is a sense of betrayal here. But they are coming here with that energy of the Ace of Swords. They want a brand new start with you. I don't know how that makes you feel though, but this is about starting over on a clean slate. Not repeating the same mistakes from the past. Cutting away through all the BS, all the lies, all the challenges and delays here. Now, they are mustering up their courage and their strength, though. 
They could have issues with their self-confidence, self-esteem. I feel like, Gemini, you're really now valuing yourself. You're putting yourself first as well. You're gaining more inner strength. I feel like you are, in respect to, you know, who this person is, you're a lot more stronger than them. But yeah, they're plucking up their courage here to reach out to you. This is the beautiful card, also the return of health. Now, definitely expect some messages. This is the fastest minor arcana. Back and forth messages. Some of you could definitely be in a long distance relationship. Don't have to be. It's just that they feel that emotional distance that you're not there anymore, Gemini. Now, most definitely here, you know, I feel like a lot of you are inclined to entertain this conversation only because you do have a lot of unanswered questions with that tower card. Why did your person do this? Why did they allow that third party um, in? Why did they break your heart, for example? We also have the queen of um, pentacles. Maybe your person, and this is not for all of you, maybe your person actually, you found out, well, you know, they're in a committed relationship. They could have also been married as well. For some of you, they definitely could have been children. But this is the thing, though. They're seeing you, though, as someone stable. I know it sounds kind of weird when I say that because they weren't, you know, if they're married to someone else or if they're committed to someone else, it's like, well, their wish fulfillment is with you. It's not with the other person. So they're coming back. Yes, they're crawling back. Um, we're going to I mean, I'm definitely going to be clarifying all these cards, though. But I am seeing here that you are their wish fulfillment. A wish will be fulfilled. This is, again, all about healing here as well. You're trying to be positive. You're trying to, you know, put up a strong front here. And you're doing a very good job of it, though. And I don't think your person is, though. But not everything is as it seems. I feel like both of you, especially you, Jim, and I have a lot of internal fears and anxieties about the present situation, about the future as well. Yes, there could have been lies. Yes, there could have been deceit here. And yes, you were in the dark about a lot of things. I actually believe kind of feel that they may have promised you many things. We've got the Two of Cups there, Cancerian Energy. Um, yeah, that, but everything fell through. Everything came crumbling down. Now, I just split the deck. We have the Sun, Leo Energy. We've got more Leo Energy there as well. I've, I'm really inclined to say that a lot of you... I'm not, when I say happy to hear from this person, it's not like you're going to be jumping up and down, but I feel like you're welcome it only because there is unfinished business. Now, a lot of these may be ready to move on. Um, maybe you've met someone else, but there is something unfinished here. We've got that three of cups. It is your person's desire to have unity with you. You may have the same group of friends as well. Um, they may actually invite you to go out somewhere social as well. Let's see. I do want to clarify these cards, especially that three of swords. Let's see. What's going on? For Gemini, please. Ooh, so it's landed on top of your six of wands. What is it? It's a tower. I'm going to keep that right there. Scorpio energy. I'm going to leave it because it landed on top of the six of wands. Yeah, I have a feeling here. They all, you know, how have they disconnected from you? Whether they ghost you, they blocked you. You found out there was a third party. You got really hurt. We have the tower there. You were blindsided. So just be prepared, Gemini. We've got another tower moment coming. I feel like it's the shocking return or a shocking revelation. Let me see. Poor Gemini. You know what it feels like to be at the bottom of the wheel. You know the tower. It doesn't feel good. We do have our three of wands, Aries energy. Some of you are definitely in a long distance relationship. Of course, that's not for all of you, but it's almost like you have a sense that you're waiting. A lot of you may kind of be still kind of connected to your person in some way. Maybe you're feeling a person's energy, but this is a return. Possibly could happen within three months as well. Wow. Yep, they want a passionate new start with you. But I do feel a lot of you will be questioning, are you only coming back for passion though? Hmm, I'm, I'm not sensing they are. But yeah, look at that. The Seven of Pentacles, why is that there? Yeah, the Hermit. So I'm really feeling here, we've got very strong Taurus and Virgo energy here. It's their desire here to invest in this, to plant the seed, nurture this connection, watch it grow after a period of being very quiet here. And look at that, the Queen of Pentacles again. They're seeing you as the Queen of Pentacles. Kind of, it's kind of like marriage material here, but they didn't, why didn't they take care of you at the start? They didn't honor this connection. They didn't take care of it at the start. That's the issue here. And their return is going to be another tower moment. I feel like for some of you, it will make you quite uncomfortable. 
It's like, what does this person want? It's like, I close that door, I said goodbye. And for others of you, it's going to be like a shocking surprise. So let's start clarifying the Three of Swords with the Five of Wands and the Strength card. See how we're getting repeat messages? We've got strong Leo energy. It doesn't have to be. Maybe it's somewhere strong in their chart. But we do have the Strength card twice here. Yeah, I'm really feeling here that there was a lot of competition for your person's attention. And they gave in. They gave attention to the wrong people here. And I, honestly, th this is the card of conflict. They are pretty much worried that, you know, once they return, that this there will be some arguments here. That's why they're pluck, you know, they are plucking up their courage and their strength. They're looking to the past or their past actions here. And yeah, they're a little bit worried about how you're going to receive them, though. That's the problem because they know very well, Gemini, that they broke your heart. There's too many people around this connection, especially around your person. I feel like they won't be happy. Um, let's just say if... You know, you, you did reconcile even for peace or for closure or to actually, you know, continue on this relationship and pick up the pieces. Some people on your person's side are not going to be happy, but that's their problem. They should not get involved. So clarifying the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Wands and the Star again. Look at that. Yeah, they're going to be defending you. They didn't do it in the past, though. They didn't have your back. They didn't protect you. And when you needed them the most, Gemini, they were nowhere to be found. So they're going to be doing something very rash. We are clarifying that Knight of Swords. You are their wish fulfillment. I have a feeling, because I did see that Two of Cups, that you are mirroring each other as well. It is a win-win situation for both of you. Now, of course, if you don't want nothing to do with your person, that is fair enough. Um, if you do, though, they do know at the moment that you're very apprehensive, a bit guarded as well. But they're not going to take this line down. This is about Gemini, both of you being assertive, speaking your truth, not arguing protecting what you have but i feel like now they're pre they're prepared your person is prepared to protect this connection because you are their wish fulfillment this is about destiny it's i mean the star card is strongly ruled by aquarius we also have here leo very strong leo energy here i mean it could be in your chart here as well though mm. all right so now clarifying the six of wands actually just one second all right, I'm back. My apologies for that. There was someone at the door. I couldn't have sworn I, I, I heard a knock. Yes, so <laughs> we're going to be clarifying now the uh, the Six of Wands with the Two of Wands and the Moon. We have Aries energy, Pisces and Cancerian energy here. Oh, you're going to have to be making a choice. Now, yes, they do choose you, but um, we have the Moon twice. I have a feeling, and I'm very inclined to say here, Gemini, that you are definitely not going to go in with your eyes closed because you still feel that you're in the dark about a lot of things here. Mm, it's very difficult to lie to a Gemini. Um, you know, if someone actually lies to a Gemini and they get away with it, you must have been either very distracted or very busy, like that Eight of Pentacles. The choice is going to be yours. You're going to reach a crossroads here. It's like, do I entertain this conversation, this past person, or am I good on my own to go this way, though? You may have other options here as well, though. It's just that as much as they want success with you, you still have a lot of unanswered questions. And trust, that's a big one. Trust is mm, it's wavering at the moment. I'm also getting a lot of you, Jim and I, are very frustrated and angry with your person. Especially if they just up and they left and they entertained a third party. Now, that's not fair. Of course it's not. You don't deserve to be treated that way. Why are they coming with clarity, though? Are they going to be answering your questions? Are they coming with truth? Let's see. The Eight of Cups, yeah, and the Five of Pentacles, yeah, they're going to. Pisces energy and Taurus energy, they're definitely going to be explaining why they left you. I know that sounds how I said why they left you. I'm just because I'm hearing a lot of you are just like saying they just left. They emotionally detached and they walked away. Why did they do that? You will get your answers here. Absolutely. There's abandonment issues here as well. A lot of you, Gemini, are feeling completely abandoned by your person. Now, I'm also feeling here, Gemini, financially, your person's not doing good as well. There could be loss of money, money being lost, stolen, work situation could not be good um, at the moment. Um, it could be loss of job, unemployment here as well. Yeah. Mm. I'm also getting that the reason why they walked away is also a lie. That's why I feel like, uh, Gemini, the, the thing is here is what gets a little bit complicated is that you're in the dark about so many things that you don't even know whether you should actually entertain this conversation. But the thing is, you know that you're owed answers. They owe you that much, at least, as to why they disconnected here. 
And this whole abandonment thing, why did they just get up and leave? It's like you, you almost felt like you were tossed to the side and that whole tower thing, like it was so easy for them just to walk away. That's not good. No, 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 not at all. Clarifying now the strength card. Queen of Swords, there you are in the Hierophant. Yeah, see, your sword's pointing up as you can see. You've got a lot to say. There's a lot on your mind. There's a lot that you want to communicate about. You're being very strong about it. You're standing in your power. You are at the heart of this reading here. This can also show uh, the Queen of Swords, someone that is also separated or divorced here as well, because we do have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. That's my marriage card. Uh, but you must know that your person is seeing you here as someone that they really would like to commit to. This is something long-term. This is something that's not fleeting, like in and out. Unfortunately, your person may have had that past of being in and out, in and out. Um, no more though. But yes, you are apprehensive and you know what? I don't blame you. Hmm. Clarifying this, what are these messages here? The Nine of Cups and the Nine Knight of Wands. Pisces energy, we also have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Very interesting. Your person could be emotionally attached to you. Now, this usually happens, Jim and I, when something a bit traumatizing, something very emotionally challenging has happened to your person. Um, yes, so this is another wish card. You are their wish fulfillment. That they, they will be expressing that. The only issue is, is that with that nine knight of cups, sorry, um, I am going to say I don't always pick up player energies, but I, I am going to pick it up now only because I'm seeing a lot of third party energy here. And, well, you are viewing this person as someone unstable, unreliable, that, you know, you cannot come in and out of your life. No, that, that's, you don't need that, Gemini. You're very busy, whatever you're, you know, professionally or, you know, with um, your studies, whatever you're doing with your life, you're on the right track. And you cannot afford at the moment for someone to come back with all this drama, though. Hmm, there are passionate changes here. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that's you right now. The Nine of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Now, I feel like your person is soon to be 100% single. I'm picking up Gemini. A lot of you are 100% single as well. That is the minor arcana of the Empress. You're focusing on your career, your finances, your study. You really have an idea of what your dream life looks like. But lo and behold, with the other nine, that's Gemini energy here. Your person is in major triple, quadruple regret over what happened. You could be actually dealing with a fellow Gemini, which would be very interesting because it's like having four people in the relationship. Your person actually could also be dealing here with a divorce as well, because if we do look here, we do see that is um, justice right there. They could be going through the dark night of the soul. That is about major regret, a lot of anxiety and fear of coming forward, but that's not going to stop them. And I feel like mm, that tower card, it's like, boom, when you least expect it, would actually be happening at night time as well. Let's clarify that star card. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, your person, I feel like here, finally, a wish being granted, they're going to be releasing themselves from something. Um, it could be from a marriage, a commitment, a situation here. Because presently, you know, it's almost like they always wanted to give you more. But they just gave you like 1%. You know, you put in 100%, but they never met you halfway though. Now, this could definitely be what they're releasing themselves. It could be from a marriage, a commitment, an engagement here. There could be children involved here, but because we are clarifying the star card, yeah, I have to admit, they're not going to hold themselves back, though. We have the star twice, so there will be, I almost feel like kind of meeting in the middle, and they never did that in the past, though. There was no compromise. It was always just you putting in the work, you putting in the effort. Let's clarify that moon. Yeah, we've got Judgment and the Page of Wands. Libra, Scorpio, we also have Fire energy here. Yeah, this is what you don't see coming. This is what you're in the dark about. That's that tower moment. That's them wanting a second chance. They're having that light bulb moment in the middle of the night, that aha moment. Um, they expect a, a, pretty much a, a text message, a passionate text message from your person. And I feel like you're going to be shocked. You could be even be on your phone watching TV and you hear your phone beep and it's a message from them. And it's like you would never expected a message from them. Oh, my God. Some they OK. So when I keep saying the word of transformation, look at that. See, conclusions are within reach. This is that your person wanting to transform the situation now. They want to make this better. They want to be. How can I say make up for lost time? Yeah, see, you're very close to achieving your goal. Let's see, let's get some Unology Oracle cards for you. 
yeah look at that a win-win outcast um outcome sorry is um forecast here for you i'm gonna say a shocking return i i just i'm i'm saying shocking because i keep looking at that tower i keep hearing like your phone beeping or is it a ping whatever they say but yeah i just i feel like you're not gonna see this coming mm. your hard work is paying off um, could be dealing with the Capricorn. I did see that a lot of you were busy also with work, study, career, finances. You are good enough. Could be dealing with a Virgo. So if you ever blamed yourself or thought that you were the reason why your person left or they did whatever they did, no, 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 no. Okay, the card's already confirming it. Gemini, you are more than enough. A fiery climax approaches. You could also be dealing with an Aries. Followed by new moon. Look at that. A new start is coming. Should you want one, Gemini? This can be healed, but boy, they're going to have to fight tooth and nail to be back in your good graces. Now, with this shocking return, I am very interested to see in your extended beyond that what is going to happen. So bear with me. I will. I'm going, I'm going to pause the video and you will see a glimpse into your extended. So just bear with me, Gemini. Welcome back, Gemini. As you can see, the layout is very different. I have six different decks that I'll be using for your extended. So just to reiterate, especially for those that are new to my channel, um, with your extended, I will be focusing now 100% on your person. I wanna find out about this shocking return, this unexpected message that you'll be receiving possibly within three months. That's what I'm definitely seeing here. So I'll be starting off with the tarot. I'll be clarifying with more tarot, with the Morgan Greer tarot, one of my favorite tarot decks. I'll be using Amira's Love Oracle cards. Sometimes we get really good characteristics or personality traits about your person here. The yes and no oracle cards. Uh, sometimes we do get also very good timing here as well. Kind of just in our rough idea when things can unravel for you. Uh, I'll also be using the Romance Angel oracle cards. We get beautiful messages, um, messages in regards for both of you moving forward. And my favorite deck here, if your person could say anything to you, Gemini, without fear, without judgment, or, you know, whatever they think is going to happen, you know, what would they say to you? What is in the heart and soul? These are the messages. I pull out six cards, and we also look at the bottom of the deck, but this is what they wish they could tell you so much. So I'll be focusing 100% only on your person. So the link to the extended is below. I'll see you on the other side. But if this is where we depart, Gemini, I wish you the very best. And may the month of November be absolutely amazing and kind to you. Until next time, Gemini, take care. Bye.